federal government's free meal waiver is over, which means students have to pay for school meals if they do not qualify for free or reduced lunch. This is such tough timing. Yeah. Families are really pinching pennies right now. 11 Lives Molly Oak breaks down what you need to know to make sure your kids get the food they need. It's back to school and back to homework. This year, parents, you have an assignment too. Applying for free and reduced meals for your kids. The expectation is that due to inflation, um, furloughs and layoffs, there could be uh, more families submitting and qualifying for free or reduced price meals. Like many districts in Cobb County, you'll head to the district's website and apply. DeKalb says unless you've received a letter saying your family qualified, you also need to make a request. In Gwinnett, breakfast is free at all Title I schools for all students. At non-Title I, it's free for students with a reduced price meal status. Fulton County is also encouraging parents to sign up, saying it can benefit beyond just student meals. Also, um, other areas that can support student um, academics, such as um, technology and internet access and discounts for fees with college application processes and things such as that. So it is a great benefit for parents to just go ahead and apply. Fulton County also has 31 schools that qualify for Community Eligibility Provision, or CEP, meaning all students at those schools get breakfast and lunch free. Clayton County uses the same program, but for every school in the district. So our students, regardless of income, will have an opportunity to have breakfast, lunch, and after-school snack at no cost to them or their family. The district says, on average, that means 12 million free meals for Clayton County kids each year and saves families about 1200 bucks per child. Regardless of your income, you can eat. Whether you're on the high side or the low side, it's, it's equality across the board for all of our children. An equal playing field to be fed, ready to focus, and learn. Yeah, it sets them up for success. Molly Oak reporting there for us. For more information on how you can apply for these programs, go to 11alive.com.